La música de Harry Fraud. Salvador Perez, the 2-2. Two -two. Popped up, Sandoval, in foul territory. Giants win! A World Series win for the San Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. Number 34 will lead things off. Bottom third of the order set to go here in the third.
Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. Yeah, not a real good effort there. That pitch was never going to be a strike. The one, two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, all of these guys are trying to put on a show here in the top amateur showcase. I don't think going down on strikes puts part of the agenda for them. But hey, sometimes you just gotta tip your cap and move on. Striking out is just part of the game, and you have to learn how to let it go if you're gonna be a good professional hitter. Number 34. Number 34 will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And this is fouled straight back. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. He's set. Now the pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. And the run will score from third to make this a one to nothing game. And not only does he get himself a nice base hit right there, but he also clutches up and drives in that run with two outs. You know, I always think you can learn a lot about the mentality of a player by the way he handles his at-bats with runners in scoring position. So you've got to appreciate a guy who really wants to be up there when the pressure's on. Pause, now the pitch. Called strike 0-2. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Richard Yee will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long And now, meanwhile, this is going to be extra bases, and that may just get a couple of runners home. And the runner is in from second. And he will cross as well. And they've taken a two to one lead. Number 34 will be the batter. One for two thus far. Number 34. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. He's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Number 34 will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Well, he'll lean pretty heavily on that fastball. Why not? It's a big one. Comes set. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's set. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Jude Mathis is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. So a good ball game is what we just watched. With runs hard to come by, it makes it much easier to find our difference maker, and this was the man.
number 34 digs in at the plate. Right fielder. Now the first pitch. Already pitching from a deficit here as he fires this one by him for strike one. An 89 mile an hour fastball is not overpowering by any stretch, but it sure had him on his back foot. And he pulls it to deep right field. Gonzalez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the top half of inning number two. The West prospects are on top here, two to nothing. Now here's the pitch. 0 oh, 2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to right field. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. Number 34 will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the first offering. Driven the other way out to deep left field. Rosa is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Brandon Gonzalez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. The 1 2. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time. Four to one now. And he will score as well. And with it, the lead's cut in half now to 4-2. Antoine Thorman will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Here's a fly ball now lifted in the air out to right. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Number 34 will stride to the plate. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. You get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let